Um, I'm from North Little Rock, Arkansas, um, which I always have to correct people in California in bigger cities because they're like, oh, Little Rock. And it's like, no, no, I'm not from Little Rock. I am from North Little Rock. I'm from Dogtown. Um, and I get, you know, honestly, um, the very first time I was in front of an audience was in the church. And there was some little Christmas play they were putting on and they had my mother and I like up in, up in the baptismal. And I was maybe two or three, I mean, I was little and just dressed with an angel with I'm sure like a pipe cleaner halo. <laughs> Um, and the, you know, the red velvet curtains opened and the entire congregation was like, oh, and I think that's when I got hooked. It was pretty great. I go back a lot in Oxford, Mississippi, where I have a house and watch the high school performances there because it makes me remember, you know, why you, why you get into it in the first place, which is just the love of, of doing it. And it's not about having an agent or getting a job. You know, these kids are doing it in high school just because they want to perform. There's, you know, there's no reps <laughs> in the audience in Oxford, Mississippi, and it's, you know, that's what it was about. It was just a safe place where I could try a British accent for the first time, you know, and, and dress up. You know, now that I'm older, you know, I love Arkansas so much, you know, and there was a point probably in my late 20s where I started to realize how, what I love about the South and how much how great it is, you know, in the sense of community and the sense of family and friendships that, you know, that start in, in mommy's days out in the church, you know, people I've known since we're in cribs together. Um, but in order to leave that, you know, those strong roots, I think you have to develop this deep hatred for it. So I had developed a deep, deep hatred for North Little Rock, Arkansas. My very first, the, the television series I got my, you know, it was a pilot and I had one line in the pilot. Um, you know, and you just, it, it's almost harder to have one line than a line in every scene because you just go over it and over it and over it. And I would have nightmares that I would walk out because it was in front, it was a show shot in front of a live audience and that I would walk out and not be able to talk, you know, just like awful, but you know, I mean, that one line meant so much to me at that time. Um, and then when you get two lines, you know, and then, wow, I'm in two scenes in this episode. Um, you, you just grow. And then, you know, my first film, like, there'll never be, you know, another first film. And so that was truly huge in my life. I remember um, it was Dazed and Confused. And they had the kind of final, I had gone in and read several times, and then they had the final callback. And they had probably... I don't even know, it seemed like 100, but maybe 50 actors all there at Universal, and they ordered pizza. And you're sitting there like trying to like act like you're hanging out and having fun, but you're talking to the girl who's, you know, competing with you. And they, they didn't really tell you which role, they would just come out and say, okay, you're gonna read this role in this scene with these two actors, and we'd go in and read. And so they're kind of mixing and matching. And so I read for several roles in that film, and, and you know, and then you just go out and wait and wait and wait. And I actually, like, I left. I just couldn't take it again. <laughs> um, and I went to 7-Eleven and I got an iced coffee. And then it was just like, what are you doing? You know, go back. So I went back and um, they're like, where have you been? I was like, oh, I just went to get a drink. Um, and then it continued a little longer. And then they started sending producers out and they would take people aside and be like, okay, you can go home now. And so you're just like, oh my God, this went on all day, all day. And so then every time a producer would walk out of the room, you would kind of like try and hide somewhere behind a pole. Like, if they can't find me, I'll somehow make it into this film. And then, you know, it was dark by this point and Don Phillips, the casting director came out and he said, Joey, let's go for a walk. And I was just like, oh man. So we go and walk and he said, um, you're gonna be in this movie. And I was like, wait, I'm gonna be in the movie? And he's like, yeah, and I was like, so I can go home and call my mom and tell her I'm gonna be in a movie. And he was like, go open a beer, call your mom, you're gonna be in a movie. You know, and it's like, again, like that, you know, there's been other great experiences, but nothing will ever top that, that milestone of achievement, of just be, actually being in a, a motion picture.